what in the world do you have for me today? What do you think about the movie Deja Vu with Denzel Washington? I've never seen that. <laughs> Did you expect me to have seen it? Well, I thought maybe, but... Do you have some hardcore <laughs> opinions about the movie Deja Vu with Denzel Washington? <laughs> I do not. I what did, year did it come out? I think 2006. Um, so have the, you seen it? Yeah, a long time ago. <laughs> I was going um, to laugh <laughs> if you haven't seen it, and we just spend an entire episode <laughs> talking about a movie neither of us have, us have seen. So, like, this boat, I think, explodes, and Denzel Washington's a cop, and he, like, can see four days in the past, and, like, he solves, like, this crime. Even though that isn't what, like what Deja Vu is. It made okay, no so sense. this fucking pile of shit movie <laughs> has to have a 6.2 on IMDb. It probably does. What opinions did you think I was going to have on this movie? Were you expecting me to like go off and get mad about this no, movie? No, I just okay. I just thought you might have had a good take about it. But Well, I can talk about Denzel Washington. Go ahead. He's a fantastic actor, but he's done some... Some some shoddy movies. There's like movies that are like top tier that he's been in, but then yeah. some of them aren't the greatest. I mean, he has won a few Academy Awards, and he was really great in Glory, American Gangster. I like that movie a lot, and he was good in that. People always talk about him as if he's one of the greatest of all time, and I don't, I don't know. There's some actors that are like like Daniel Day Lewis, but he's retired. He's making shoes now. He's a cobbler. Did you ever see that movie, The Cobbler? No, I didn't. Adam Sandler. Should be <laughs> killed for it. <laughs> Hasn't made a worthwhile movie in his career. Like, even Billy Madison and Happy Gilmore are okay. Uncut Gems is good. I don't like movies where the main character, the the funny part of the movie is, oh, the main character acts like a man-child. Everything Will Ferrell has ever done, other than, like, Stranger Than Fiction, they're not good comedies. <laughs> like, what happened to Naked Gun, Airplane? Like, good comedic timing and jokes. Instead, it's like, no, we're just talking about donkey dicks. And fuck Will Ferrell. <laughs> like, I'm sure he's a fine person, but Steve Carell got a very good career being, like, he was discovered through shit like that, like Anchorman, and then that led to, like, 40-Year-Old Virgin, which then led to The Office, which Michael Scott is a fantastic character because there's little moments throughout the office where he isn't a buffoon. He's not, a, he, yeah, he's childish, but he's not a man-child in that show. Like one moment that always sticks out is he has like a bad day in one of the episodes and then he goes home and it's Halloween and kids come over for trick-or-treating and he's just yeah. like super good with the kids. And you could tell that was probably just Steve Carell being himself right. to a bunch of neighborhood kids. He was in um, one of Louis C.K.'s short films way back in the day. He played a post a post office worker and that's what he was before being an actor. A male person, not male man. You got to ask what you got for me. What do you got for me? <laughs> Deja vu. Oh, my God. <laughs>